Hello Redditors of the Internet, NobleZenon here and welcome back to another Reddit video. And today we'll be looking at r slash nice guys part 46. Let's get started. We'll start things off with a good friend who was unfortunately infected with nice guy syndrome. But factually speaking, niceness gets you nowhere, Donna. Girls love a-holes. No girl notices the nice guy. Nice guys don't date. They are rejected at every corner. A-holes, however, very beloved. Oh no, another one bites the dust. For this next one, I have no idea what's going on here. Just because question mark exclamation mark and then just starts spamming all sorts of symbols. What? Are you kidding with more symbols? I did so much for her. She already knows that I truly love her. If she dates secretly behind my back without telling me, of course I would 100% kill her. Well, it looks like you killed your phone while writing this. This next one simply titled, well that was easy. I respect women and apparently that's why I don't get any girls. You're a nice guy, aren't you? Unfortunately, yes. For this next one, there might have been a reason he hasn't gotten any responses. In his own words, I haven't gotten one response since I started, WTF. There's obviously something wrong here. Y'all don't know a good guy when you see one. That's okay, most of society is blind and brainwashed as well. This is sad. Well, maybe if you took a moment and read what you just wrote, you would have realized why you're not getting any responses. This next one saw this on a post about a girl waiting up for her boyfriend to call her. Real life hack. Girls feel more attached to that type of guy, who make them wait and wait. In contrast, they look down at the guy who responds immediately. The source is the Men Club's book, under the code of what girls deserves. Someone else replies, this is subjective. Nice guy replies, I wish it's not, but that's the truth. I learned it the hard way because I'm the second type. And then the other person replies, I believe that it's wrong. I much prefer the guy who will text me back quick slash pay attention and not waste my time. So I believe it depends on the person. And Cardboard Champion comments, Dear players of the world, if you turn a relationship into a game, someone's gonna lose and it's likely to be you. Make it a collaborative experience though and everyone gets something out of it. Very well said. So after all these short posts, it's time for something a bit longer. I guess this is what I get for having guy friends. Hey, how's it going? How's revision going? Uh, about as well as it can go. You? We don't have exams, just little quizzes. You there? Kinda wanna ask you something. Oh, lucky. And yeah, sorry, my phone is on Do Not Disturb, so might be a little slow, trying to get some work done. Oh, sorry, hope I'm not distracting. Was just playing with the guys last night, and your name came up a few times. Oh? Yeah, nothing bad, don't worry. We were just kinda wondering, is there anyone in the group that you like? Uh, that came up in conversation last night? Who was even there? Yeah, we talked about you for a while, but like nothing bad. It was me and three other guys. Right. So? So? Do you like any of us? Do I have to answer that? I'd like you to. I'd rather not, thanks. Kinda sounds like a yes, hello? It's not a no. OMG, who is it? I don't really want to tell you if that's okay, sorry. Okay, can I ask you something else? I guess. If I asked you out, would I have a chance? Oh jeez, sorry, I don't really know you that well compared to the other guys, and I think I'd rather just be friends with you. As I said, there's kinda someone else anyway, so... Oh, is it green? No, he's like a brother to me. I thought girls wanted to F their brothers, and he's the best looking guy in the group. LMAO what? Hold on, we gotta pause here for a minute. Did he say he thought girls wanted to F their brothers? What? This guy must be spending way too much time in the hub to the point where it's screwing with his mind because there is no way that anyone could reasonably think like this. Anyway, continuing. And yeah, he's not a bad looking guy, but yeah, it's not like that. I'm into more than just looks anyway. Have you ever sent one of the guys nudes? No, WTF. It's just that, you know, like every single one of us has thought about you in that way. I love playing games with you, you're really good and also so funny and you make me laugh. I thought maybe we had a thing going. Sorry to burst your bubble, but no, that's just how I act around friends which I thought you were. 
So you're a tease? I wouldn't say that, it's just a group dynamic. I get a lot of crap from you guys, but it's fine, because it's all just banter and it goes both ways. It doesn't mean anything, though. Well, what about that night over Christmas? You were really down and I was trying to be there for you. Guess you were just using me. Sorry I was going through a really bad time and needed someone to talk to. You offered, so I vented to you. This is what friends do? It doesn't mean anything. I do the same for every other guy in the group. Whatever, I'm a nice guy and you're missing out. I'll be the one that got away. I don't think I'll miss you that much. And then he calls her something that will get me demonetized. Good one. Trust me, all the other guys are the same as me. I'm the one who asked you out, though you should at least give me a chance. After you called me that? It was a joke. No, it wasn't. I'm done talking with you now. Come on. No. Please, don't leave me on red. Boy, you're getting left on red after that one. And I'd say a hell of a lot more than that, I'd say you also ruined the whole friendship and everything. This next one is a peak nice guy who was very offended by a joke so everyone started going through his old posts. And back in 2017 he posted, I am not misogynistic, I am real. Women need to be held responsible and accountable. It's not all men's fault you're stupid. It's not my fault you date violators. I'm not the one painting myself up like a clown, going someplace trolling for the D while drunk, and having sex with the first guy to drop an I wanna F line. You choose to degrade yourself. Stop treating good men like it's our fault. These people who always say I'm not something, it could be racist or in this instance misogynistic, and then proceed to be that thing. They always open with that damn sentence like it's gonna work, like we're gonna ignore the rest of this post. This next one's quite a short one, so how come you're such a B? Go to hell, I'm a nice guy, you ain't no Baptist. Although from what I can see here, she hasn't said a thing. This next one is a reply to a tweet about a girl's friend of 9 years sending her an unsolicited D pic. This is what happens when you puts a guy in a friend zone for too long, even though that guy's secretly holding back his feelings just to not ruin the relationship, but when they finally get the courage to take their shot to be more, boom, gets rejected hard AF. You know guys, there's ways to take a shot that don't include sending unsolicited d-pics. You know, like just asking her out, preferably without the nice guy stuff. This next one is susceptible to illness, so she'd rather stay home during a pandemic. This makes me Adolf, apparently. Hey cutie. Howdy. What are you up to today? Absolutely nothing. And then sends herself being a potato. Haha, <laughs> same. Kinda wish you'd be a potato next to me, though. Too bad we're in quarantine. Not us, safer at home now which is where my ass will be staying. I get sick if I like picture a germ LMAO, and then he just rolls his eyes at her. Bruh, I don't want to die with no health insurance. You can take precautions, wash hands, wear mask if near the public. I'm an introvert, I barely go out to begin with, but I would for cuddles lol. Keep your distance, I'm gonna go ahead and not die. Wow, now I'd know who you'd listen to if this was fascist Germany too. Excuse me? Adolf did the same fear tactics. At the end of the day, you pick the government to listen to who changes their comments, allows for grocery stores, a cesspool of bacteria to be open while empty forests to close, etc. I know that when I get sick, I get sick sick. I've been hospitalized for fevers countless times. I don't think that makes me a fascist. They make no sense, but they scared you to think you'd get sick going out to meet a guy. I get sick constantly, I will get sick in a pandemic. So I'll get you sick is what you're saying, cool. Oh my god. Where else are you gonna get sick, LMAO? You're acting like I got something. The world has something, bro, this isn't about you. I'm me, I'm not the public. Social distancing is not relational distancing. What? Yeah, this guy better keep his distance. Ever wondered what a nice guy? looks like in his natural habitat? Well, you're about to find out. A nice guy here performs the mating ritual of his species. Shh, let's listen in. Hey, I think you're pretty cool and you should just give me a chance. Please, you're incredibly beautiful and a lot of these men don't deserve you. I would treat you right, please. 
fine, have fun with your normal boyfriend, get screwed, you're too ugly to even get a man, lesbian, you're a gay lesbian, aren't you? Nice. This next one came across a gem on Plenty of Fish, about me. Warning, what you are about to read will blow your mind. The profile you have just stumbled upon is about, well, me. So let me be straight to the point. 99.999% of you girls out there will flat out just not like me, period. Why is that? It's really quite simple. I'm a nice guy. Yuck. I'm easygoing. Wait, like he won't even argue with you about spilled milk? I'm a Christian. Wait, did he just say he has standards and a moral compass that points north? Disgusting, I'm out. I'm fit, active, and enjoy sports. Uh, no thanks, the only six pack I like is beer. I don't smoke, yeah no, I only date tough guys. I don't drink, he clearly doesn't know how to have fun then. I'm smart and successful at what I do, ew, stop, it burns, make it stop. I have a good sense of humor, OMG, did he just make a joke about liberals? I hate him forever now. And I've never been to prison, he probably doesn't even have any tattoos either, ugh. So again, I'm a nice, caring, easygoing guy with a good sense of humors, I have Christian morals and standards, don't smoke, drink, or do drugs, I have goals for my life and I'm achieving them, I'm a fit, single, attractive male that can be a best friend, someone to talk about anything, someone that will listen and support. Again, I know 99.999% of females aren't looking for that, so sorry, I'm not an ugly bum that's not going anywhere in life getting high with my friends on the weekends, but if by some rare chance of God that you are a single, fit, attractive female and part of that point oh 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 one percent of the female population that actually finds value in a genuine, stand-up, respectable kind of guy, then what are you waiting for? Message me, and please hold a conversation, none of that hey there, happy face stuff, and then never respond again. If you think you'll build a relationship with like a two-message conversation, then well, it kinda speaks for itself. I'd rather get together anyway and talk in person, like go hiking for a walk or something. The more human interaction, the easier it is to have a real conversation and get to know somebody. If you have any other questions, then ask. I'm more interested in seeing what you're interested in, so let's see if we have some common ground to start on. P.S. I find it extremely attractive when the girl can initiate a conversation and can hold a conversation afterwards. Conversation starters, i.e. what you'd like to do on a first date. Talk to me about guns, and I know you're a true American. Just kidding, let's talk about the meaning of life. JK again, just tell me what you're looking for in a guy, this is a dating site after all. While they're probably looking for a guy who doesn't write condescending essays, this next one is a needy nice guy ex who snaps after being ignored. Hello? Okay, I'll leave you alone then. Thank you. Wow, and here I thought you were a nice person. Uh, I've literally said I'm not multiple times. Yeah, but doing this was just frickin' uncalled for, and you used to be nice. Okay, you know what? I'm really fed up with women's BS. I'm happy there are people out there that hate your gender because it's well-deserved the way you people handle things. Like pigs. I'm happy I frickin' dumped you. I'm happy I'm not in a relationship with any of you. You don't deserve to be happy either. I'm so fed up with trying to treat women well and in return be treated like crap. Screw you girls. Wow, you weren't kidding when he said he snapped. Blaming a whole gender just because he got ignored, goddamn. This next one was looking for the cords to snuff by Slipknot. I didn't expect to find one here. It's ironic to see all the women commenting about how this song hits really hard. Yet when he says you ran away, you're all the same, he's talking about all you women. And it's true, you are all the same. You don't give two Fs about nice guys. Unfortunately, disliking that comment won't do much, at least not on YouTube. Someone I know was opening up questions on Insta and then gets this. Bored, so ask me something to keep me entertained. Do nice guys ever have a genuine chance? Nice guys always have a chance. Every girl wants a nice guy. That's why I'm lucky to have found one. Although I feel like in this instance, the person who asked was asking about the nice guys over at r slash nice guys, while the person who answered is talking about genuinely nice men, in which there is a massive difference. And for this last one, 
This guy thinks he's so old at 21 years old. Every time we age, it gets harder and harder to find someone who would be able to love your funny but a stupid quirks and all the women who try to get a dumb guy who treats you like crap. Well, I'm tired of it. This is a real challenge. All you girls had to get treated like crap and are tired of it. I just want to let you know, go after the less attractive guy and 25% of the unattractive people are the ones that will appreciate it. If you notice them, not the D-bag of a little man you think you want. Now, if you don't get treated, congratulations for your relationship, but I bet if you saw it with a perfect 10 and me that like a 6 at max, I bet you go after the 10. What? Have you ever heard of punctuation? Oh, and there's a little reply here. Prove me wrong and message me. Also, why do you think you're getting so old at 21? Like if you're doomed and can't find anyone. When in reality, you still got your whole life ahead of you. That kind of doomed thinking really is not gonna get you anywhere. Anyway, I would like to thank all of my patrons, especially Cuberty, Forever Tired, Spoonie the Rogue, Seth Southwell, and Fear the Cannibal. You can join in the link below, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.